This is Father Matthew Kozlowski speaking to you from St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Stewart, Florida. Make sure to like our YouTube page so that you can watch all of our videos. This is Wednesday's Words, and today's topic is martyrdom. What does it mean to be a martyr? You might have heard that term before, but never really thought about it. Well, a martyr is somebody who dies for their faith, specifically is killed for their faith. Today in the Episcopal Church calendar, uh, August 14th, we actually celebrate a modern day martyr. His name was Jonathan Merrick Daniels. He was a young Episcopal seminarian and out of his Christian beliefs, he ended up down in Alabama during the civil rights movement, registering people to vote. There was a man with a gun who approached the group of people that he was with and Jonathan actually pushed a young girl out of the way and ended up absorbing the full blast of a 12 gauge shotgun and died instantly. He is remembered as a, a modern day martyr. And there are many, uh, unfortunately, modern day uh, martyrs, um, certainly in, in Africa and, and Asia. A lot of the martyrs that we think about come from the early Christian tradition back in the early church days where Christians were literally fed to the lions in the Colosseum uh, during times of Roman persecution. And what's so fascinating about martyrdom, both back then and also today, is that it has the exact opposite effect as that which the persecutors intended. So let me explain. Uh, the Romans or whoever, when they killed Christians, they assumed that this would strike such fear into the community that the faith would just sort of evaporate. But in fact, the faith grew during the times of heaviest persecution. And that's still true today in areas of the world where there is heavy persecution, uh, the church grows. Well, now why is that? Well, especially because martyr, martyrdom tends to be a public act. Uh, people are killed in public. Uh, the witnesses of this focus on the extreme conviction of the martyrs. Uh, can you imagine uh, this person is willingly allowing themselves to be killed rather than renounce their beliefs? And it becomes attractive to at least consider and find out about what are these beliefs and how they could be held so strongly as to um, take them all the way to uh, a gruesome death. And so it is just a true thing. Uh, historians have kind of affirmed this, that martyrdom actually tends to inspire and grow the faith rather than snuff it out. So that's all the time we have, but it's a chance to consider martyrdom and uh, the, the tragic nature of it, but also the power that it has had throughout history. This is Father Kaz signing off.